Hi, this is Kent White again. Let's have some fun doing some aluminum repairs. Now, I've been a professional metal man for a long time and done a lot of high, very high-end restoration work. So when I do polished trim, like on this little aircraft wheel pan, it's very much the same as doing a polished aluminum Duesenberg or doing a polished aluminum Porsche Spider, a polished aluminum P51. And I've got my choice between welding it with uh, with the torch. Again, this is what we're talking about, just a simple oxyacetylene torch. We can weld it, we can braze it, or we can solder aluminum. Well, today we're going to do brazing. So hang on to your socks, because what I want to do is build up a really damaged piece of trim that was dragged down the runway when a guy ran over his own wheel pan. And I've got to build it up quite a ways. Then we're going to make sure it fits. Then we're going to go ahead and mow it off with a sander and get it really nice, check it with a little file, then we're going to buff it out and see how it looks. If you notice, I have an original pant to work from. So the pant that was damaged and run over has all been straightened and riveted and lined up. And as you can see, the trim has been, has been roughened very much by dragging on the, the uh, ramp um, landing strip. So I've straightened the trim and worked it out to where it fits the pant pretty well. Okay, let's do the first step of our repair. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do before I do anything to the aluminum is clean it with rubbing alcohol or 70% isopropyl which is available at any of the pharmacies and a good stainless steel toothbrush. Oxyacetylene, I've got a soft flame on the torch. I'm going to start down here. And this is a flux cord brazing rod. It's not, it's not the flea market special. This is professional quality stuff. When I do fuel tanks for aircraft, aircraft repairs, race cars, in order to do polished work, you can't have any porosity. You have to have beautiful adhesion and beautiful ability to flow out. I started doing chrome repairs in 1974 and found I had a touch for it. So I kept on doing chrome work and brass lamps and ended up doing a lot of polished work, which, which is another higher level because I can actually use a little bit of filler with chrome and there's some tricks with the brass lamps as well. So I'm just flowing this on. It just it just flows beautifully. The the material, remember the, the trim is very clean, no oxides. It should be a beautiful job. And it just takes a minute to get this to flow on there. And this flux is non-corrosive, so I don't have to worry so much if, it, if it's not fully cleaned off of the part. See, I just do it in little dabs to not overheat the part. We're only 50 degrees below the melting point of this trim. This is really worn down quite a bit. This is where it really collided with the asphalt on landing, so it's down a bit. So it's it's all built up, looks good. We'll let her cool off. Turn off the torch. It's going in the water wash. And I'll get after it. There's a little water on there. And we'll come up and we'll get after it with the stainless steel brush again because I just don't want to have the flux blowing all over the shop when I sand the aluminum. But you can see now, if you look at the profile, the profile's nice now, and a nice buildup. I've got just a, a welder's uh, grinder here. It's an air tool, but I've ma machined these fittings so you can put a DA pad on here, and we're going to stick some 320. Uh, my little company sells all this stuff, so you don't have to hunt around for it. Okay, let's get after this surface.
Okay, it looks pretty good, but let's check it with a file. I just want to make sure just the, the file will tell me where it's where it's low and high and needs needs just a little bit of work. Hey, I'm done Zan and let's polish this thing. Okay, we've got her we've got her buffed up. Let's look at the finish. There's no pits. There's no deviations. There's no and on the back side there's no melting through. It's all clean and uniform and professional. Okay, there's the fit and the finish. It looks like brand new. And we didn't have to go to the flea market or watch TV to buy professional quality materials. And I showed you a professional method right here. Well, this is Kent White. I hope you had a little fun with the oxyacetylene torch today. Remember, making this little piece of trim happy again involved just a little bit of professional help. Remember that soldering occurs at less than 775 Fahrenheit. Brazing is less than the melting point of the metal. And welding is at the point of the metal. So if you hear somebody claiming that they have one product that solders and brazes and welds, I think they're trying to fool you. Okay, signing off. See you next time.